Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zimbro. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at what's new with Zimcat 4. Woohoo! So here's Zimcat 4 right here, codenamed Diamond, at zimjs.com. And we've opened up the cat, and we click on what's new over here. And we've got making mobile apps in five minutes with Zaps, the new Zap tool. So we'll do a bubbling on that. But that's not this bubbling. This bubbling's going to be on easing. So we've got custom ease is available. And here's the examples for that. We've also got an upcoming bubbling on the keyboard and a bubbling on the new site features as well as a bunch of other updates in ZoomCat 4. Right now, let's take a look at the easing though. So we have some new built-in Zim eases. One is called Snap, that's up here, Snap. You're open, we'll do it again, Snap. And that uh, came from Greensock, so Greensock, thanks for that uh, Snap ease. Uh, although we uh, put in the equation ourselves, but we saw that they had done one and it looked really cool. So here's Ballistic. Ballistic slows down in the middle and speeds up at the end. So it starts off fast and then goes slow and then goes fast. And that's the opposite to all of our previous built-in eases, which were slow to start to ease you in and then faster and then slow easing out as well. So that's an opposite ease, Ballistic. There's another one down here that's happening, slow-mo. So that's even, that's like ballistic, but it's even slower. So it really slows down in the middle, lets you read something, and then zoops off. So those three have been added, but there's also a tool. Uh, let's see, shift tab. There's also a tool right here, this one, that will allow you to make custom eases. So for instance, the snap in would be something like, well, it might have been this one coming up here like that. So it will go, it will go almost to the end, but then it sort of slows down, even comes back a bit and then snaps into place. Test, boop, boop. And if you wanted to try and move that over a little bit, it might like be a bit like that, something like that. Test, boop, snap, boop, snap like that. And what you do is you hit save and you can grab that custom ease right there and put it into animate. Um, there's also, I mean, lots of things can be made here. Here's like a, a back. Woo. So that was a big back and a snap, a big back and a snap. And, and, and so that's the idea. You, you change these. Here are the, the built in ones, uh, like a, an in out quintic. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> so be it. Uh, and again, you can hit save on these, and but all these ones are built in already, so there's no point in saving that. But that's what that looks like. <laughs> zero, 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 one, one. How about that, huh? And uh, this will zim. We've now built in the equations in behind to take those numbers and turn them into tweens that CreateJS will understand. So that's that bit. You can go check out all that in the docs. So we've opened up docs. Here's the docs for animate. And we scroll on down to where it says ease right here. So this is the ease parameter. There's a link to the tool right there. Here are the new ones, snap in, snap out, ballistic, etc., and slow mos. And then this is what a linear ease would look like, by the way. It's a little bit different than you might expect. It's going from zero. All these are anchored at zero to one and zero to one. And then here are the, uh, the numbers at that time for the height of the points there. 0.2%, 0.4%, 0.6%, 08 So that's roughly how it works. This you can pass in, um, if, you, if you make an ease, you might want a different in than an out. So what you can do is you can make the in, like we did for that snap, for instance, and then you can also make the out and pass it in as two versions of what you've saved there with the tool. This is all listed as well in the in the docs for easing, uh, for sorry, for custom ease or zim ease right here. So if you look up zim ease, zim ease, enter, 
here we are, it tells you an example with single points like that, an example with doubles, and talks about it, as well as uh, talks about it more in the points parameter. There's a couple different things you can do. You can just do one ease and then set reverse to true, or is it mirror to true? I think it's mirror to true. Uh, and that way it will um, it will reverse that one ease for you. So you don't actually have to do the two eases. You, if you just want the, uh, the mirror version of it, then that will do it. So anyway, have a look at that for Zim ease. As a matter of fact, let's go into some code now. So I'm going to go into some code right here. And this is the code for those ZIMEs examples. So once again, we'll open in Browser Plus and you can see them. There they are. So this is the code we're looking at now. Here's our polygon. And there's the ease with a snap in out in a certain amount of time. And that's being done on the rewind. We've made a squiggle because we're animating our ballistic along a squiggle. That's that curved line, the parabola looking line there. And then here's the ease on that. We're animating along that path. And we're uh, using ballistic in out for that ease. Here we are animating in the label now animating in with slow-mo and every time that animate uh, finishes its loop we swap the text to one of these series we just run the zim series call set the target text to the zim series call this has nothing to do with eases this is just the zim series and it will go and grab the next one and wrap keep on grabbing those all right so that is the new easing. Um, did you want to try grabbing a custom ease and see if we can throw it into, say, where we were doing the snap up here? So let's make one. We'll make it go back. So this goes in reverse. You can kind of look at, at this one up here when it comes to posi uh, position. So it's going to start at the bottom here and then it comes down as, as time goes by. This is time and percentage. As, it, as time goes by, it comes down. So it's going to come down and then head up and then sort of uh, during this whole time right here from almost half of it there or a third maybe, it's just going to be moving a little bit as it approaches. Here we go. If we want it to go up higher on the end there, then we would increase this one to go up higher. So this would be like, I suppose, a, a back in out. And we test back in out like that. OK, let's try that. This would mean that our, our little round things going to go um, through the wall. <laughs> Come back. So if we save that, we can grab the ease like that copy it and come on back to our code and paste it right in here like so. So the ease, uh, make sure you don't duplicate the word ease there. So I got rid of the whole line of the ease. Ease, the zim ease, and there it is. And we save that and we run it here. went out of you. <laughs> doesn't look all that great, does it? <laughs> so it animates out of you, comes back into view, and then, then snaps in there. But anyway, that's that's how we would apply it. Uh, we, we should have done something like a, a bounce or something like that. Good. I guess that's it for our What's Bubbling at Zim. Woohoo! We've seen the new E's. Uh, the new eases and the new custom ease, as well as a way that we can set our, our custom eases. Woo -woo! So come on back for some more bubbling at Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and feel free to join us at zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord if you want to hang out and chat. Ciao.